The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. People ask me most commonly, isn't bariatric surgery all about just looking good? And I tell them emphatically, no. Bariatric surgery is about saving lives and helping people maintain a healthy way of life. Bariatric surgery has been around for about 25 years and it's paralleled the obesity rates that we've had in the United States. The problem is, is that most of our patients come to us because they want to have a better uh, health. They want to have a healthier way of living. And they've struggled on their own for many years. In fact, yo-yoing up and down with their weight and they're finally ready to do something different. They're finally ready for bariatric surgery. Bariatric surgery is not just about looking good. It really is about changing the way somebody lives. It's about changing their relationship with food. And how we do that through the uh, process of bariatric surgery is an important step in them being able to maintain their weight and maintain their health. We often see patients for bariatric surgery because they have diabetes or degenerative joint disease, high blood pressure, or sleep apnea. Oftentimes they have many of these problems together and they want to have their, li their life back. They want their health back. And bariatric surgery is a way to do that. What I'd like to share with you today is what we know about bariatric surgery and how it can greatly impact these health issues. Oftentimes we can get a great improvement for an individual in their health and at the same time they achieve a weight that, they're, uh, that they desire. So bariatric surgery isn't just about looking good. Bariatric surgery is about taking your life back. It's about being able to have those moments with your family that you might not otherwise have. It's about having the retirement that you thought you might be losing as that diabetes or degenerative joint disease begins to take hold of your life. Diabetes, the rate of diabetes in America is paralleled that of the obesity rate in America. All of us know that obesity is on the rise and diabetes is following. Many of us imagine a person with diabetes as a young person, but in reality, nine, t nine people out of 10 who have diabetes have the adult onset type. So, what we're seeing is, is that as the obesity rates rise, so does diabetes. And people just don't get diabetes. It's really where the obesity that they have impairs their ability to regulate their sugars. And with weight loss, we can see an improvement in those sugars. Bariatric surgery specifically has really been shown to improve somebody's sugar control and actually put people into remission for diabetes. That's right, we have several studies that have shown that patients who have obesity and diabetes of the, of the adult onset type have a remission rate of over 80% with weight loss surgery. So instead of having needles, medications, taking their sugars four to six times a day, after somebody has bariatric surgery, we see their sugars normalize. We see their diabetes go into remission. We see those medications no longer necessary. So one of the most important things that I have seen in my career is the impact that I can have as a bariatric surgeon on diabetes. The unfortunate part is most of the, of the uh, folks out there, even our medical colleagues, don't quite understand this yet. So one of my jobs to do is to go out and talk to everyone about this. Diabetes can be put into remission with bariatric surgery, especially if you have obesity as the main cause. It's funny, uh, sleep is often thought as a luxury in today's busy society, but sleep is one of the four main contributors, or I should say sleep disturbances, is one of the four main contributors to obesity in America. If you look at it, sleep is an important time for, that's restorative for us, and we aren't allowing ourselves that. Recent statistics show that Americans are only getting about six hours nights of sleep. Oftentimes we say that we just don't have that time to sleep. We actually have good studies that show that a person who gets six hours of sleep compared to somebody who gets eight hours of sleep is 30% heavier than the eight hour sleep. Why is this, does this happen? Well, I think there are three reasons why the sleep or sleep disturbances causes obesity. First of all, when we sleep at night, we're fasting. We're actually spending a lot of our calories maintaining our proper uh, temperature regulation at night. So we're burning calories and fasting while we're sleeping. Secondly, when we don't sleep, we have increased levels of cortisol in our system. This is a stress hormone. When we're stressed, we eat. We all know this. 
So when we don't get sleep and we have elevated stress hormones, we are driven to eat. Finally, when we get two hours more a day of the opportunity to eat, we're taking in calories that are unhealthy for us. So when you put it all together, burning less and taking more calories in, this is how sleep and sleep di disruption really is contributing to obesity in America. One of the important things that I tell folks if they're really interested in losing weight is they have to start getting serious about having good sleep. That's eight hours a night, every night, to get good quality sleep. Many patients have sleep apnea, and sleep apnea is one of those diseases in which someone may get uh, 10 or 15 minutes of sleep in a night. They may wake up two or 300 times in a night. That person needs their sleep apnea treated as well as their obesity treated. So if we treat their sleep apnea and we can help them lose weight, we can restore the way that they sleep and help them maintain weight loss long term. We hope you'll join us for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.